Good morning all. Myself Ramya, Associate Professor, Department of ECE in Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. Today I am going to discuss on Class B Power Amplifiers of Electronic Circuits. The contents which I am going to discuss in this lecture are Introduction to Power Amplifiers and its types and detailed discussion on Transformer Coupled Push-Pull Class B Amplifier and Complementary Symmetry Push-Pull Amplifier. First, what is meant by power amplifier? Power amplifier converts a low power signal into a high voltage, high power signal. So how it performs that is that it tries to get, take the DC power from the supply and converts into a AC signal which is delivered to the load. The efficiency of it is given by P out by P in. P in is the input signal and P out is the output signal. Since it is a power amplifier, there will be definitely heat dissipated from it, which is given by the expression of P in minus P out. The main aim here is to develop or construct a power amplifier such that its efficiency is high and the heat is minimal. Various types of power amplifiers are there which are class A, class B, class AB and class C depending upon its conduction angle. Class A conducts for 360 degree, class B for 180, class AB is between 180 degree to 360 degree and class C conducts less than 180 degree. So now we will see in somewhat detail about the class A amplifier. In class A amplifier we have already discussed that it tries to conduct for the entire 360 degree of the input signal. So its output will be from 0 to 360 degree. So for that conduction the Q point will be located at the center of the load line. So that the AC signal can swing for the full cycle. Next class B amplifier. Class B amplifier conducts only for one half cycle of the AC input signal. So Q point has to be located at the cutoff region or at zero volt on the load line. So AC signal will swing only for one half cycle. Next is class AB amplifier. If this amplifier is a compromise between class A and class B amplifier where Q point is just above the class B but below the class A. So it conducts between 180 degree and 360 degree of the AC input signal. Next, class C amplifier. The class C amplifier output is actually it conducts for less than 180 degree of the AC signal. So Q point will be located below the cutoff region. So this uh, table provides you the efficiency of various amplifiers. Now we will be discussing in detail about the class B amplifier. As already discussed, class B amplifier will conduct for only one half cycle of the input signal. So if we want a proper output signal as a full signal, we have to use two transistors. So one transistor has to conduct in one half cycle and another transistor has to conduct in another half cycle. So we can use NPN transistor which conducts the negative half cycle of the signal and PNP transistor for the positive half of the input signal. So finally at the load we can get the complete input signal as the output. Okay. So we will discuss in detail about transformer coupled push-pull amplifier where this is a circuit for transformer coupled push-pull amplifier. We have two transformer, one is input transformer or driver transformer and another one is output transformer. This is a center, both are center type transformers. This driver transformer or input transformer is actually used to provide different polarity of the signals to the two transistors. Here we have used two transistors Q1 and Q2 both are of same type only NPN transistors so that in order to make the transistor to conduct in two different cycles we have used center tap transformers and that provides two different polarity to the transistor. Similarly at the output side we have used a center tap transformer so as to combine the signals from the two transistors into a single one and deliver it to the load. This transistor is connection is push-pull connection. This is the input transformer. This is the output transformer. This is the load. So the operation of it. So during the positive half cycle of the input signal, the transistor Q1 will conduct because 
due to center tapped this positive will be positive here negative positive negative so the in, here this is a npn transistor n p n similarly this is also p n so positive is provided to this transistor so q1 is followed by us so it tries to conduct in the positive half cycle whereas negative is provided here this is reversed by us so there won't be any conduction here similarly in the negative half cycle this is minus plus minus plus q1 is reversed by us and q2 is followed by us since this is followed by us it tries to conduct in that cycle so that you will get a full cycle at the load this is how class b operation will be there under transformer coupled category but uh, here you have to be sure that uh, the transistors q1 and q2 has to turn on off exactly at the same time else there will be the crossover distortion so we have to overcome this crossover distortion by means of maintaining the transistor and the proper on and off time and we have a drawback of transformer coupled amplifier such that the use of transformer itself becomes bulky to avoid that we are going for complementary symmetry push pull amplifier where the use of transformer is ignored this is a circuit diagram of the complementary symmetry push pull amplifier where you have used two different transistor one is npn transistor another one is pnp transistor so one transistor tries to conduct in one half cycle and the another transistor tries to conduct in another half cycle so for example if it is a positive going input signal if it is positive going input signal which will be followed by us this is npn transistor so n p n so this transistor q2 will be followed by us and it tries to conduct whereas due in the negative half cycle this is pnp transistor p n p this transistor will be conducted and you will get the output from this transistor so finally the combination of both will give you the complete cycle main advantage of complementary symmetry push pull amplifier is that there is no need of center tap transformer so weight and cost are very much reduced and there is no need for equal and opposite input signal voltages whereas it also has certain disadvantages that is it is difficult to get a pair of transistors that have similar characteristics and difficult to get uh, positive and negative supply voltages properly thank you